Assalamualaikum everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for who watch this channel. So welcome to PO TV and the health news programs. So in here we share the informations about the health news in orthotic and prosthetic side. So overview I want to explain first. The orthotic and prosthetic side is talk about the science itself and the technology. So today is a special. We won't talk about the upcoming prosthesis. So without further ado, I invite my friends uh, who come from the Jakarta School Orthotic and Prosthetic, and she will she will explain or share the informations about the upcoming prosthetics. So welcome to Miss Inasia. Thank you for your comments. Okay, let's take it. Thank you. A representative from the Polytechnic of Health Jakarta One from the Orthotic and Prosthetic Department. So basically, our school is to learn about how to make the prosthesis and the orthosis. So actually, the prosthesis is a device that the function is for replacing the body part or replacing the missing limb. And for the orthosis, it is a device that the function is for supporting the body part. And because of today episode is talking about the upper limb prosthesis, yeah. right? So uh, today we will talk more about the upper limb prosthesis and how about how to making the prosthesis in our school. We will talking talking it later in this video. So today I'm already in the GSBO Jakarta School Prosthetic and Orthotic. I want to meet my old friends. So let's meet you now with me. Go to the so I'm already in the clinic, so I want to meet my friends. So this is my friends. Come with me. Um, hi. <laughs> so this is uh, my friends, Zara, as a POV here. So I just want to interview a little bit about the upper limb prosthesis. So can you explain to us what is the upper limb prosthesis? Okay, I think before I answer it. Maybe we can sit first. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> so for the ULP, ULP it is stand for upper limb prosthesis. So for the prosthesis itself, it is like a device that can replace the missing body part. So upper limb prosthesis, it is to replace uh, the device to replace the missing part of the upper limb, such as like the uh, arm, elbow, for arm and then the hand. And there is so many levels of competition for the upper limb processes itself. The first one is there is for torta, the shoulder disarticulation, the touch humeral, elbow disarticulation, touch lanial, wrist disarticulation, and the last one is the partial hand. Oh, okay, that's really nice information. I didn't know about that one before. It. So, what are the differences about the disarticulation and the like uh, RCL, yeah, yeah, something like that. And what's the, what the name of that one? Can you more explain to me? Sure, sure. Okay, so for the first is for quarter. I bet you don't know the first quarter. What is, what is it? Okay, so for the first quarter is uh, the whole limb is being cut by the doctor with the shoulder also. <coughs> and then uh, there is uh, this articulation. Uh, there is like shoulder, shoulder disarticulation, elbow disarticulation, and then the wrist disarticulation. For this articulation, articulation means the joint. So the doctor cut to the joint, and uh, there's there also there is also the transfemoral and then the transradial. For the transfemoral and then the transradial, we cut to the bone of the arm for the transfemoral one. And then the transradial one, we cut it to the uh, the forearm one. Yeah. Uh, or also, uh, we can say the the below elbow or the upper elbow for amputation. Oh, yeah. So very yeah. Many names for the level amputation. Yeah. Oh, I see. So so many name of the level amputation and have a difference also. So. Because the name is so very many, uh, what about the device that the patient or the people use the of upper limb amputation? It's so many or different types for that one. Yes, of course. 
of course there's there are so many of the types of the design for the upper limb prosthesis itself maybe i can show you the oh. the device okay. look like okay so here's the example of the design of the upper limb prosthesis so this is the example of the active one and then here's the types the variation of the of the socket types for so the this one is for the wrist is articulation like I said before and then here's the for for the transradial one this is the monster socket and this is the northwestern socket the only differences between this one and the monster socket is only the length so the length for the monster socket is only just like a short oh, for the shorter. short stuff yeah, yeah. and then the northwestern is for the medium to long stump. Oh, okay, that has difference also for the size one. Yeah, well, actually, I want to show you another device and more material about the processes. So, uh, let me uh, introduce my friends to you. Okay, okay, just go to the store. Yeah. case is more often compared with the upper limb amputation still if there is any problem with your upper limb it is really affecting your life because our upper limb is really essential and this is our duty or as the processes prosthetic student to learn how to making the processes for the upper limb and other device so thanks for Miss Inasha for your time to come here for the share the information so thanks also for the audience who watch this channel so hope you can get something from this or new information about the orthotic and prosthetics so today's this episode until here so uh, thanks for your attention okay wassalamualaikum good day